Good morning, I'm here with Dimitri Dimitriou, CEO of Imo Pharma, and he's coming with his firm to Euronix Brussels. Can you explain in two words what Imo Pharma is all about? Yes, of course, I'd be delighted, and thank you for inviting me. So, Imo Pharma is a company which is focusing on developing new medicines. We started about 20 years ago, and we have uh, three subsidiaries in France, one in Switzerland, and the headquarters, the holding company is in London. Mm. So we listed the name about 15 years ago, and we have gone through the full cycles of uh, drug development. So our model is to outsource the early stage part of development. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why we work with the CNRS. And what we do is we focus on developing the drugs using expert contract organizations, uh, through clinical trials up to the point where we can either license them out to a pharma company or conceivably sell on the market ourselves. And on which domains are you uh, qualified or, or excel? Do you excel? The focus of the company and the expertise is a lot around immunology and more specifically autoimmune diseases. This is for a lead drug which is called Lubuzol, that's, that's the, uh, the brand mm -hmm. name. And the second area where we are is oncology. So we have a promising drug, again, which came out of the CNRS for cancer and also ophthalmology. And we also have a separate platform technology for developing new peptides, which can become new drugs. And that's one of our subsidiaries, which is called Eureka, and that's based in Bordeaux at the Institute of European, uh, the European Institute of Chemistry and Biology. And you recently signed a partnership with Avion Pharma. How important is that for, for the company? That is very important for us, and it allows us to put the drug back on its track. Um, we had done a very big deal in the past with another US company which had global rights, they were called Cephalon, and they got acquired um, after we had done the deal, a few years after. So we took the rights back, um, performed the phase three ourselves, and now we just closed the deal with um, uh, Avion, which is, um, I think, a great partner for us. The important thing with Avion is that we have a collaboration where they have the exclusive rights for the US, but the rest of the world is open for us to either sell alone or do other deals, more likely with other companies. And do you have the means to do that? To in, in Europe, to to the. Yes, because the deal, uh, or rather Avion is part of the deal, will finance the next phase three, which is needed. Mm -hmm. That means other companies do not have to pay for development. So, yes, I think there's a lot of interest from European and Asian companies. And why did you choose for a second listing? Well, we have been on AIM for 15 years. I think we have become quite known in the UK. And we have had our eyes on Europe for a number of years now. Um, actually, I remember myself, Euronex starting, I think it was roughly the same time when Immufama started. And I've seen it grow by acquiring um, um, or rather working and merging with other stock exchanges in Europe. So Euronext for us, I think, is a great platform because it allows us to be in Europe and also have our shares traded uh, in euros. And why Euronext Brussels? Well, that I think is quite a simple question. When you look at the data specifically from Euronext, it looks at people from Euronext who uh, speak about different sectors within the exchange. It's quite clear that Brussels is the place to be if you're a life science company. Mm -hmm. So the community is very strong. But again, the important thing is to understand that Brussels is just a place where one is trading. Euronext is also in France and Ireland mm -hmm. and Portugal and Norway and probably other places in the future. Well, plus it's owned by the New York Stock Exchange. And do you need extra funding for your operations? Not for the moment. And part of that is because of, of a creative financing, which we did uh, a few months ago, uh, which is likely to give us more money if the share price continues performing well. The second part, which is also very important, is that in the past we were paying for the cost of development ourselves, whereas now uh, Avion is going to be helping. So mm -hmm. I think that that's a big help. Uh, I've noticed that there is some volatility lately in the stock uh, price. Why is that? There has always been volatility. I think as a sector, things go up and down very quickly. Um, the volumes of trading are quite high, but we always had a lot of trading done because we've been uh, on the market for so long. So there is a very large shareholder base. And what, um, what we're looking upon uh, from, from the Euronext side is some interest from institutions and also retail. 
um, which would enlarge the shareholder base and uh, bring stability. What can we expect uh, for the pipeline in the next, uh, let's say, two years? Well, the next obvious point is the initiation of phase three, then the recruitment, the completion and the results. Uh, in the meantime, much like in the last phase three, which we run, there was a, a very big appreciation in the share price, which is logical to expect again as you get closer to the end. But we must not underestimate that even though Avion has the rights for the US and we are delighted, uh, there is interest from Asian companies and European companies for other parts of the world. So we are in discussions with other companies as well. Uh, that is in addition to the other drugs which we have. Okay, thanks very much for your time. And you too. Thank you.